Pennycook has gone through three different transitions. Uh, when it was first settled in the early 1700s, around 1725, uh, it was made up of people that did farming and worked in the forests soon in the 1830s because of the abundance of water power. It went into the industrial age. And now it's in transition, I think, for the third time. And um, it's uh, a place of light manufacturing and uh, small businesses, but it's also a residential community. It's become more gentrified. I think we see uh, more young professionals moving into the village. Uh, people have found that living in Pentecook is the best of both worlds. You actually live in the city of Concord, but you're living in a small village where there's a great degree of uh, closeness and friendliness. The city of Concord has been very good to Pentecook. There was some that felt that uh, Pentecook was somewhat the stepchild of the city of Concord because we were moved so much by distance from downtown Concord and also we're somewhat unique. We have our own phone exchange, we're in a different school district, but uh, the city of Concord have reached out to Pennacook. Uh, they've helped with problems we had. They put a lot of money into the infrastructure, for example, burying the cables and wires when the uh, streets were resurfaced. Um, Concord has been a, a very good to the Pentecook. I think the best days of Pentecook uh, are ahead of us. And uh, I say knowing that Pentecook has had some wonderful days and has some wonderful accomplishments, but I can see that there's a new pride in the Pentecook people. I think we're going to see a lot more done at exit 17 off of 93 uh, with new uh, businesses going in. And, uh, and I think it's, it looks very promising that we'll eventually have a grocery store there. So I think Pentecook's best days are ahead and, uh, and I'm glad to be a resident.